Well, it's been a busy day so far for the new Pope. The new leader of the Roman Catholic Church is already getting down to business. Randall Pinkston is in the Vatican City with a look at Pope Francis's first day on the job. Pope Francis is returning to the Sistine Chapel to celebrate his first Mass with the cardinals who elected him. This morning, the 76-year-old former Archbishop of Buenos Aires, Argentina, went to St. Mary Major Basilica. He carried flowers to the altar of the Virgin Mary and prayed in silence for 10 minutes. He also prayed at the tomb of Pius V and greeted the church staff. Afterwards, Francis collected his bags at the hotel where he stayed before the conclave and made it a point to pay his bill. Because he was concerned about giving a good example of what priests and bishops should do. Pope Francis, like his namesake, St. Francis of Assisi, is a friend of the poor. Before he was introduced to the world, the new Holy Father chose to wear a simple robe. And instead of a gold cross, he kept the one he wore as a cardinal. The new pope has shown himself to be a humble man. He declined to take a special Vatican car to his celebratory dinner. He wanted to ride with the cardinals. And later he showed them he has a sense of humor. At the dinner, there was a little toast to him at the end of the meal. He just said a few words. And at the end, he said, may God forgive you for what you've done. Francis spoke on the phone with Pope Emeritus Benedict. He will visit him at the Castle Gandolfo in the next few days. Pope Francis has been receiving guests at his temporary residence in the Santa Marta. Later today, he will remove the seals from the papal apartment so it can be prepared for him over the next few days. Randall Pinkston, CBS News, Vatican City. And stay with KHOU 11 News and KHOU.com for the latest on Pope Francis. Look for reports from Ron Tavino in Rome in our later newscast.